just about at the end of the one minute rest period and both wrestlers are now ready to go into that all important three minute overtime. Three one minute periods. Chuck, I'm gonna go on a limb right now and say that I believe that the, the wrestler who gets the first takedown in this period is gonna win the bout eventually. Oh, that's, that's, that's good thinking, Doug, because obviously uh, that first aggressive takedown, two points, is gonna be very important. We're gonna get into a technical type match. If no wrestler scores a takedown, then we're gonna to have to see who's the better mat wrestler. In an overtime bout, it just isn't much time to do anything. You have to be instantly aggressive and score your points quickly. Yeah, this takes a, a special kind of kid to go out in overtime and attack. There's Sullivan in very deep on a double leg. He hooks up, and he Navy rides, picks up two takedown. Superb technique on that he deep double. He was real solid and tight. Now he's got Scott Sullivan on a Navy ride. He's gonna try and tilt him to his back. Oh, there's a roll through. Wrestlers are near the edge again. Sullivan's trying to pull the wrestler in, slap on a cradle. Scott Sullivan wants to get out of bounds and get a restart. I don't think he's get it. And still in, Sullivan is still in. He wants to pull Scott Sullivan in for near fall points. And knee hits the out of bounds line and out they go. Twelve seconds left in the first overtime and Sullivan in control. I think Sullivan will be content here to hang on to Scarsella for the remaining 12 seconds. He doesn't want to give up any points right here, Doug. No, he doesn't. I think he'd be very happy going into period two with uh, two points up. There's the wing. Trademark, Sullivan ride. Very, very difficult. Does he pin with it or does he ride with it? Uh, Sullivan is not noted as being a pinner. Um, although if he, you know, gets the wrestler on his back with his wings, he's able to change off and pin him that way. But he, he rides uh, very, very tough with that wing. Who's, whose choice was it here? I'm not sure. Uh, they chose neutral. <laughs> Scott Sullivan knows he has to score a takedown here. Sullivan is being aggressive. He's right in again on that deep, deep double leg. Switches to a single, wraps the leg around. Now he's looking. Finish the takedown. Attempted headlock by, by Scarcella. Didn't work. Sullivan's still hanging on the leg. Very close to being a big I like Scarcella's style, though. He goes for anything, doesn't All he? Right. He'll take any opening there is. And we are in a stalemate. Neither wrestler can improve their position. We go back to our feet. Oh, Good duck. Great Good duck. duck. And Sullivan. How did he get out of that? Yeah, he, he popped his hips up quickly and turned around. Now Scarcella is in danger of giving up a takedown. Scarcella initiated the action with a great duck under takedown. And now it seems like Sullivan's got the advantage. Now Scarcella is popping out around. He's going to control Sullivan's hips, and he just doesn't have it yet. Referee signaling no takedown. There it is. There, there it is. Scarcella comes out behind for two. Unbelievable. With two seconds left, Scarcella evens the match up at 6-6. Six, six. That was just one of those dog fights where either man could have scored a takedown. Now Scarcella's in the advantage position. He's in the bottom, and it's tied score. All he has to do is score, and he'll be in the lead, putting the pressure right on Sullivan again. Well, we've got a tie ball game here going into the third period. And Sullivan so digging out that wing. Scarcella knows it's coming. Sullivan lets him up. Interesting strategy. He thinks he can take him down. Obviously, he believes he's better on his feet than Scarcella. There's a deep double. Another deep double. Scarcella saving it with the whizzer. Sullivan's in good position here. I and think he's pops got out it. for two. Super job, Bill Sullivan. What a great match, Doug. Oh, so far the best one, no doubt. The wrestlers are out of bounds, they'll come back. Both sets of coaches exhorting their wrestlers, trying to shout instructions out that will help them become the champion. Certainly the crowd likes this type of wrestler. You can just sense the excitement in, in the way they're, they're buzzing. Sullivan up on an ankle trying to stop Scarcellas from, from jumping all over the mat. It seems to have worked. 22 seconds. Scarcella's going to really go here. It's that tough ride I was talking about. Scarcella on his feet. And gets away. Oh, Sullivan hangs on. Unbelievable. That looks like one. I believe he's neutral, yes! He's neutral! He's a tie ball game in all the time. score! We're gonna have to go into criteria now to determine the winner. Chuck, maybe you can explain that to us. Uh, there's a list of criteria in the rule book. Um, 
to determine who the winner is. Denham thinks they have it. I believe they do. One of the criteria is greater number of near fall points scored. And I believe Scar Sola got a three point near fall and Sullivan only got a two point near Very fall. Very early in the match, right? Very early, but it's going to go back all the way there. So in other words, the winner will be chosen by the are the wrestler who scored the most number of points for turning his opponent over, correct? Right, and if it, and if that's not if that's not clear, if there's not a clear-cut winner there, they go to a greater number of points for um, reversals, greater number of points for takedowns, greater number of takedowns. There's a long, long list of criteria. Sullivan doesn't look happy. I think Scarcella may have beaten him on criteria. The referee is explaining to the two coaches now what the criteria exactly is. Well, I tell you. It sounds awfully trite at this point, but uh, it'd be hard to find a winner or a loser among these two kids. They both wrestle valiantly. And the winner on criteria in overtime is Paul Scarcella. 119 pound champion, Denham High School. I, you almost, you almost hate to see a winner in a, in a bout like that. Yeah, that. You're absolutely right. Two fantastic wrestlers. I think the best thing they could have done is gone different weight classes this year. They're just so evenly matched. They certainly